Hello and welcome to Zamperini's quarantine course. This course was inspired by Louis Zamperini, born in 1917 and died in 2014. This course is only $5 for one round. It is also located in Jupiter, Florida. Our first obstacle in Zamperini's quarantine course is called the egg drop race. This race was inspired by Louis Zamperini when he was really young. Growing up, Louis was really poor, so he stole stuff from the bakery and ran. The egg drop race is a great representation of what happened to Louis when he was younger. During the egg drop race, you have an egg on a spoon and you're supposed to run as fast as you can, trying to beat the other people you're racing. This represents Louis stealing food from the bakery and having to run away really fast. Here is an example of the first obstacle in Zamperini's quarantine course. This is a great representation of Louis stealing food from the bakery when he was a child. As you can see, the egg drop race can get pretty messy. Our next obstacle course would be the Olympic race. This obstacle is pretty straightforward because both of our contestants race each other to the end of the finish line so they can continue the next obstacle. Here's a contestant attempting to do the Olympic race. So, Louis Zamperini was an Olympic racer in the Olympics in Germany. So, this obstacle is designed after him. Our team really feels like we honor Louis Zamperini in the Olympic race. The next obstacle is the Ocean Blue Slide. This obstacle contains a blue tarp which is made into a water slide. This obstacle represents Louis crashing his plane into the deep Pacific Ocean. Here are a few short clips of this obstacle. The next obstacle is called the swim race. This represents Louis and the other survivors dodging the bullets in the water. This obstacle can be done with floaties or without floaties. And a lifeguard will always be on site. Here are examples of this year's swim race. The next obstacle is called the water chug challenge. This obstacle represents the need for water in this time. Here is one of our contestants' water chug. The goal of this obstacle is to drink water faster than your opponent and finish the bottle so you can continue to the next obstacle. Here is one contestant doing the water chug. The next obstacle is called the shark gummy toss. Now our contestants decided to eat our shark gummies before we could film the shark gummy toss and I was not allowed to go back out and get more shark gummies because of the quarantine. So instead of shark gummies, we used coins this time to represent them. This shark gummy toss represents Louis fighting off the sharks while he was in the water. Here is the shark gummy toss done with coins. The next obstacle we have is called Walk the Beam. This beam that we're walking represents the beam that Louis had to hold up when he was getting tortured in the prisoner of war camp. The beam walk can be dangerous. While we were filming, one of our contestants did slip off and scrape his elbow 
so I've decided not to put the footage in. In this obstacle, you will have to sit on a unicorn boat and try and paddle yourself across the water. This really represents Louis's life because during this horrendous time when he was at sea, he had to sit in a raft and he had no idea what was going to happen. In the unicorn boat paddle, you must paddle with an object you find at random to the other side of the pool. So these are all our obstacles for Zamperini's quarantine course. We hope these are very fun during this quarantine time and it keeps you busy and having fun with friends and family. Keep in mind, this obstacle course is only $5 per obstacle and you have to schedule to make appointments so Corona, COVID-19 doesn't spread. Everything will be wiped down completely with Clorox. Thank you for watching Zamperini's quarantine course. We hope you come visit. Thank you.